Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'll be showing you uh, my website which I developed. It may be useful for your projects. Uh, this develop this project is developed using PHP, SQL, and HTML. So uh, let me show you the demonstration of this project, how it works. So this is the admin page. As soon as you open the admin page, you can see the dashboard over here. So the dashboard consists of many elements like doctor, patient, nurse, pharmacist, laboratory, accountant, and etc. So here, if you go to the department, you can check who is which all the department you have in your hospital, and a short description about the department. Then, if you go to the doctor, here you can check the doctor name and the department. So if you go to the patient, here the same thing: the patient name, their uh, personal details. Then if you go to the nurse, the nurse and the personal details, if you go to the pharmacist, there you can see the pharmacist name, their email and the address, all those things. The laboratory is also the same thing, even the accountant also. So in monitor hospital, what you get to see is you can view the appointments, how many people had made appointments with which doctor at what time. You can also view the payments, uh, how was the, was the payment made, what was the transaction history, what was the payment type then which patient paid uh, what method did he pay through it was it cash or online so you can see all those things over here then if you come to view bed status you can see uh, if any bed is occupied so uh, as you can see in the top panel view bed status here you can see uh, there are 13 doctors 15 patients 17 nurses, 4 pharmacists 6 laboratories 3 accountants and 22 number of beds then when we come to blood bank you can see uh, the donor list in the blood bank what are the blood uh, group available and how many uh, you know like packets of blood do we have or how many stocks of blood do we have then when you come to view medicine you can see the medicine name the category of the medicine the description and its price so if you see the operation you can see the uh, operation like it's operation code is 104 what when what when was it done to whom was it done by whom was it done all those things if you come to view birth report uh, here you can see uh, what was the birth report of then which patient something like that all those details even the death report has also the same thing so if you come to the settings you can see manage notice board so uh, here i'll right now um, so now i put the title man kit demo so now I am writing this is a demo and today's day. So now let me add it to the notice board. I will show you what happens next okay. So here you can see this is a demo of Night Kit 4. This was a demo. Let me uh, okay let this be. Uh, these are the old uh, notices which I had put for my exam purpose. Then this is the one I am putting now. Then coming to uh, system management or the system settings, here you can see we, we can change the name of the hospital. Suppose you want to name it something else, you can say, uh, like change the name over here, the email of the hospital, the title of the hospital, all those things can be changed over here. Then coming to manage language, here I have added few languages, you can add phrases and the meanings over there and it will reflect on your web page. Let me show you one small example of what I have done. So if I choose to Bengali or Spanish, so let me show you. If I choose to Hindi, you can see here admin panel, panel, it has been changed because I have added Hindi. Then if I change it to Bengali, it changes to panel. So you, you can add your own places, it's left to you, you can do those minor changes. If you want uh, a tutorial of that, uh, please contact me in the details which I have given in the description, you can contact me directly. So. So here you can see connected demo, this is a DOM. So this is what the uh, thing I typed in the notice board panel over there and it's getting reflected on the dashboard of everybody. Uh, let it be admin doctor. I'll be showing it uh, very shortly. So settings, uh, manage language, backup restore. You can backup the whole, you know, uh, data. If I press on back, see, you can see here it's getting, uh, you know, downloaded and it's all working button. You can even delete the, uh, the data backup. So profile, uh, it's the admin profile, you, you can see the admin profile, uh, this is the admin profile, let me log out now, so let me log out, okay, let me log in as doctor and show you what doctor can do, so now I'm logging in as a doctor, uh, when I logged in as a doctor, the same things you get to see, doctor panel, language setting, accountant, and the dashboard is the same, uh, then if you see here, I can see the patient, like who are all the patients in the hospital, I can add a new patient, suppose somebody come, let me show you, patient list here, uh, let me add, new guy something called as Knight itself 
now let me put this email so let me take this as an email and let me type some password as uh, one two three four five six or anything so uh, address let me leave it blank so phone number also let me give a random phone number so it's a random phone number i don't know what i have typed so let me give a random date of birth so this is a random then actually uh, i can write a code where the age can be calculated but at present let me put the age and show you blood group let me put something so add patient so now you can see the patient has been added let me show you so here we have only 10 entries uh, let me come here so here you can see that my kid what i just added now has been uploaded to the database and it's been showing here so coming to manage appointment uh, you can see i can create an appointment i can do the same thing let me not go make this video longer and go in detail of what everything if you need a tutorial as i said the information in the, is in the description please contact me anytime i'll help you with the project uh, i will even provide you know like private tutorial on what to change what course to change in depth i'll be teaching you what to do so this is just a demonstration of this project uh, coming to manage prescriptions we here you can write prescriptions so add prescription these are the data you can do bed allotment so you can allot bed to somebody uh, then coming to view blood bank you can see the blood bank and you can uh, see the status the same thing what was shown in the admin earlier now coming to manage report uh, you can view the report i mean let's see the report you can't view it actually uh, it's i have uh, given the access only to the laboratory i'll be showing you shortly then coming to profile it's the same thing you can change the password and uh, all those things so let me log out now so let me log in as a patient now so now i have been logged in as a patient into the hospital management system uh, my application so here you can see the dashboard i can see the doctors list of doctors in the hospital then i can see my appointments i don't have any appointment right now my prescriptions so I have a prescription i can view it this is my prescription i can even check my blood report uh, and some samples given here i can even download so let me show you the report example uh, i'll just be blurring out the details because it's my original report so i'll just blur it out but you can really view it as soon as i click on it uh, i got access to this so coming back to my application uh, you can even uh, see something like admit history when were you admitted see i was admitted once at a bed it's called a cb bed then uh, it's a cabin and my name and all those things, allotment date, etc, etc. If I have an option, I can give an option, but uh, the admin has not given any option. Now, blood bank, I can see the blood bank. Uh, these are the blood banks available. So uh, then comes to invoice. So I can check my invoice. These are my payment details, actually. Uh, I have paid so many times. Um, so these are my payment status too. Then payment history. Uh, these are my payment history again, uh, the same thing. Then coming to my profile, I can update my profile here. Let me log out and let me log in as a nurse. So as a nurse, I can see the patient. Uh, I can add patient to here. Then coming to bed allotment. If you ask me why have a given, uh, you know, like um, an option for nurse to admit the patient is during the emergency cases uh, the patient is just inside the emergency ward and you know you can't wait for the doctor to fill in the details so patient can just uh, i mean sorry the nurse can just log in uh, via their uh, i mean the system and fill in the details of the patient that this will be useful over here so coming to bed ward they can manage the beds too they can add or delete the number of beds uh, they can even view the beds uh, then coming to blood bank it's the same thing then coming to donors they can add the donors here that is what i have given the option for the nurse then they can even check the reports i mean just view the report and delete it how many reports are there all all can be managed to be a nurse in case the nurse wants to know something about the patient uh, his medical condition or all those things that's the reason i have given you know like uh, an option for the nurse to view the reports now coming back to another account let me log out from here first So coming back to pharmacist account. So this is the pharmacist page. 
where we have a dashboard the same thing as you can see all the uh, as i told you the notice board will be displayed in everybody's dashboard then coming to medicine category they can add medicine they can view the medicine list these are the medicines i have entered uh temporarily you can add more add medicine then coming to provide medications you can see the prescriptions and you can provide them the medicines uh then that's the thing can be done by you know pharmacist now let me log out and show you i think it's yeah laboratorist i have given a uh, good feature over here so you can view the reports here as i told you as a patient can view uh, even this guy can view let me show you so you can add the diagnostic report then dashboard uh you can add diagnosis report add diagnosis report see here as you can see an x ray is over here so all those things can be done uh, particularly uh, you know in practical life what a hospital must have uh, is almost implemented in my software this is the perks of using my software so if you're looking for a project to indulge in your college or you know submit to your college if you want a ready made project uh, you can contact me you can buy the project from me or if you want the project and also a uh, coaching i mean like uh, how the code works what the uh, code does all those things i can provide that too uh, you'll have to contact me we have the details given in the description so please do that then coming to the profile the same thing you can just change the profiles and you can you know add passwords remove passwords all those things let me log out over here quick and hop into the accountant so what accountant can do see basically accountant is one who receives the payment so the payment thing is done over here uh, actually you have an option you can link the payment uh, gateway like you can put it to razor pay or you know paypal all those things but i haven't done to that extent you can take it to that extent if you want so invoice management uh, is this uh, if i click on invoice management i can see the invoice id title amount method you know who paid on what date what is the status uh, then if you see let me create a new invoice and show you so let me take night gate see there is uh, title general so general check up then coming to amount let me put some random amount method will be uh, cash then comes the descriptions i'll leave it blank then comes unpay okay let me add the invoice as you can see here just now what i added night kit it's a cash payment 200 rupees so what accountant can do here he can he can verify the payment uh, so now it's cash as soon as he gives the cash to my hand i can click on this verify payment or if it's online as you can see here online as soon as he gives uh, the online you know like he shows me the uh, transaction message as he uh, pays like the you know successful message on his mobile uh, i can click on the verify payment button i'll get a notification if i click yes you can see here night kit paid so this is what i have done then view payment as i told you the same thing here uh, you may ask me what if he's playing through paying through online uh, so i'll display this qr code on my screen this is my qr code you can pay here that's what the perks i have given here so uh, this is my uh, project i'll be coming up with new projects almost Uh, I have some 10 to 15 projects in my mind. I'll be demonstrating all on this YouTube channel. So please subscribe to my channel. Also do like the video, comment if you want uh, any particular topic on which I have to do the video. I'll take the particular topic, build a website, and you know show it to you. So as I told you, if you want to buy this uh, website or you know buy this application for your educational use, you can always do it. Just uh, you know comment below or you can reach me through the details which I have provided in the description. I'll answer you back and we can have a conversation and I can help you out. So that's it for today guys, uh, they're just logging out, bye.